Good evening. Parliament has been seriously misled on the costs of HS2, according to Lord Barclay, the former deputy chair of the Okeby Review into the rail project. He also said that the greatest need for improved rail services was between the Midlands and the North, not between London and Birmingham. The transport body Midlands Connect has hit back, saying Lord Barclay has hugely underestimated the benefits of HS2 in his report. Our business correspondent Mark Goff has our top story. Yet more controversy for HS2. The plan is for high-speed trains to link London and Birmingham and then split into two to the northwest and the East Midlands through to Leeds. Douglas Okeby is currently heading a review into HS2 amid concerns that the £55 billion cost is spiralling. Lord Barclay is part of the review team, but has distanced himself from the soon-to-be-published official review and published his own report. In it, he says costs have grown to just under £108 billion, meaning it doesn't deliver value for money. He says the Parliament was misled over the costs and that the London to Birmingham section should be scrapped. It's not too late to cancel HS2, there'll be a cost to it, um, maybe five billion in compensation, but that's a hell of a lot less than um, 107 billion. Instead, he says, only small parts of HS2 in the northern powerhouse areas, Manchester to Yorkshire, should go ahead and existing lines in the Midlands should be upgraded. That's not feasible, according to Midlands Connect, which devises transport across the Midlands. Our existing network is frankly full. It's at the moment providing services for commuter services, for freight, for intercities. If you want to create new connections, more services for our commuter networks, we need to transfer some of those faster services into a new railway. There's no point you can do a sticky plaster approach to the existing network, we will get nothing. We might get a new extra additional service, a new extra pathway for freight, nothing transformational. And the Midlands is really in need of investment, capacity to meet future demand. HS2 said there have been many individual views expressed about the HS2 project. However, we await the publication of the government's official review. HS2 will go through South Covington Wood in Warwickshire, where protesters have set up camp to try to save it. Today they welcomed Lord Barclay's report. More optimistic than before, but I think deep down we're concerned that politicians may not want to lose face by saying, actually, we think this is a mistake. I think they've got a few get-outs now. The official review into HS2 is expected to be published in the next few weeks. Mark Goff, ITV News. Well, it'll be the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, who will publish the official Okeby review, which he commissioned back in August. The government has described Lord Barclay's report as a personal view. Our political correspondent, Alison McKenzie, is in Westminster. And Alison, how does all of this impact whether HS2 will get the go-ahead? Well, HS2, the project, has always had a very big political twist to it. Some saying that Boris Johnson only commissioned that official review in August because he knew an election was coming and he wanted to keep the Tory shires quiet with a suggestion that it might be scrapped until he had secured that now big majority in Parliament. He can do what he wants. He also knows the big demands from the business community and uh, councils in the West Midlands who want HS2 to happen. But let's just remind ourselves of the numbers again, the widespread political political support for it, despite what Lord Barclay says. It passed originally phase one in the House of Commons with a thumping 399 to 42 votes in favour of HS2. Uh, and then the second reading for the phase 2A up to crew, well, that got a similar big majority, 10 times the number of uh, those in favour rather than those against. So big political support here for HS2. When that review is published, number 10 telling me today they can't give me a date, but when it's published, I suspect Expect that despite Lord Barclay's concerns, uh, Doug Okavy will say that it should go ahead in its entirety. But you can quote me back if I get that wrong.